always run really well. So, um, you know, I think the team has a lot to be proud of. The stops were good. We had a little right front damage from, uh, from early in the race, and so it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get that tire on and off um, or off and then back on for stops. But, you know, it was good, good, good to get the go daddy car up there. And, um, you know, Hendrick did a nice job all weekend. Obviously, I had to start from the back because I, I, uh, I decided I was going to go from fourth to third and coming up to speed on my outlap in practice, and it's that's not the normal progression. So I, I got 11 four on the on the revs, and they were like, "Hey, eh, we probably should take that out." So uh, so unfortunately, I, I had to start from the rear. But um, you know, Hendrick gave me another really strong engine. I felt like we had decent speed in practice, and it was nothing different today. I I was uh, I'm telling you, after the car that we had all weekend long, I mean. The damn 48 won. I really thought I was going to be battling him for the win after practice yesterday. And I didn't think I didn't think anybody was going to battle you. I know. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, that, this Martinsville, you never know. It's so hard to practice preparing for the race. Uh, you know, I was I was extremely good yesterday, starting the race way tight. And I was like, where did that come from? But, um, you know, since Martinsville, short track race, it was a lot of fun. Um, it's it, it's exciting to keep the energy alive in this sport. I think uh, you know we're really on to some of this new car, and it's, it's fun time. It's, it's fun to get out of the car and see action. People people happy, people pissed off. It's, it's good for the sport. Okay. Um, I think you know, I mean, it's pissed kind of, off two or three guys. I think. Well, I I, I, I me I probably did. I I guarded down into three on the last lap, and then the 55 hit me and got me loose and pushed me up the track, and then. I held it next to him, came off the corner, and then Harvick's on the very inside, so we were three wide coming to the coming to the line. And then for some reason, the 55 was spun all the way, like big smoke going into one. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, but it was, I don't know what happened. I have no idea. Good I think job. he was just trying to stir stuff up. I don't oh, know. that's super normal. Cool you're always trying to do that, aren't you? Really? Yeah, yeah but I mean, you, you were running with it pretty good, so keep digging. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm such a rookie. <laughs> You know, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, we just answered how the day went. So, you know, more than that, you know, kind of what Clint said about, you know, the sport being exciting, a lot going on. I hope the fans enjoyed that late red that made for a, you know, chaotic late last, you know, seven or eight laps there. You know, it was good to look up in the stands and see it full. It was good to see good to see people with their shirts off. I mean, summer's coming, so uh, I'm ready for it. I'm sure you all are because it snowed here on Thursday. So, um, you know, things are just going well. And it was for me, it was just really nice to have a nice weekend since uh, Daytona because we haven't had I any, got pretty excited about else. that comment, and I realized it was a girl today. About like, <laughs> 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 the shirts off thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's an exciting day for us. Uh, you know, same thing kind of with Clint said. We were a little bit tighter when the race started. And we anticipated, but uh, we also burnt our tires off of it uh, the, the first couple runs. So luckily that improved. Then I made a, a bonehead move and, and uh, overshot my pit stall and cost us a bunch of positions. So and I was just sitting back there, not passing anybody, not going anywhere, thinking, "Uh oh, I've really screwed us up." But uh, the long run, we uh, we made a couple adjustments and, and freed the car up, and, and then. Uh, the long run came, and man, our car was just unbelievable in that long run. So, you know, I obviously didn't want to see a short run there at the end, but uh, it, you know, it's pretty typical. It's going to happen at Martinsville, and so I think third was a, a great finish for us, and happy to, uh, to 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 bring home third. We needed the points. We needed a good solid run. The 48. I mean, you give him that number one pit stall at Martinsville, and I mean, it's almost near impossible to beat him. I, mean, I think it was just a circumstance, but it just got me on my toes when I was inside of people, making sure I didn't slide up into them and, you know, them kind of helped turn me sideways. So, um, you know, I honestly, I felt pretty comfortable from the get-go. Um, you know, when you have a decent car, things just are a lot easier. So um, I've had, a, I've, you know, I had a lot of other worse weekends, like Fontana, I've been there a bunch of times, but it was misery until the race. So, um you know, it was, it was just a good car. So we were steady all weekend, and we just kind of kept improving. And, um, you know, we also improved in the race, which is always really important. We ended up getting really good power down by about halfway through the race. And no matter what I did, I could really get on it well coming off the corner. So, um, you know, that I, I would say that I, you know, learned pretty early. I was backing up my corner and kind of going in easy and trying to kind of save everything. And 
I was getting really loose doing it. So once I finally got back to going in hard again, loading the front up like like I was before, it, it seemed like the car got really balanced again. So, you know, I learned that kind of easy, and that's kind of what helped me get more comfortable um, in race runs. Ryan had an issue, and, and he was uh, really nice out there. There was one time he let me in when I was stuck up high, so that was really helpful of him. Um, and, uh, you know... <laughs> I felt a little funny kind of racing really hard for position with Tony there at the end. It was, um, and then to get in front of him, that was uh, a little victory for me. So, because um, he's so good. So, um, I'm going to go over to his bus after this and see what he has to say about it. But, um, but uh, no, it was really fun. And, um, you know, Gibson just prepares nice cars for, for Martinsville. So, um, you know, it's not about being first in, the, first in your team, it's about being about being first out there overall and, and you work towards that the whole time. No, I, I mean I just think that you know there's less risk in finding the limit on a, on a track that you're not going as fast on so you know I think that's a little bit part of it as opposed to when you're you know when you're at Fontana and it's a tricky track and you're carrying a lot of speed and you know the, the consequences seem a little bit bigger when you when you try and find the limit there than, than at a short little track here so um, like Martinsville, so I, I think that might be kind of it. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I, all I can say is that I know that you know a car that's comfortable to drive always makes a huge difference. It didn't, it didn't cross my mind to let him in. I went underneath him to go by him. So um, no, what I, all across my mind is that you know I just you know I'd be fair and give room and run hard and if I get the spot great. If I don't. You lost it to a guy like Tony Stewart, so, um, you know. But no, I mean, I'm out there to race, and I don't think Tony would want me to live. Okay, we'll take questions for Clint or Danica. Raise your hand. We'll start with this gentleman right here, please. Danica advocates for the Danville Register and B. This is kind of for both of you guys. Uh, you know, are you, well, obviously, Clint, you're probably pretty happy with how you did today, but uh, Danica, how do you feel about your performance in Clint? Can you just kind of clarify? He's answered your question for you, didn't he? Yeah, you're really good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear what you think. Go ahead. No, really, he, no, you first. 